Good evening. Queensland's Weather Bureau boss has hit back at claims it dropped the ball during one of Brisbane's worst storms in recent years. Many victims are furious with the lack of warning, but as they cleaned up, the Bureau's chief told Renee Henry that everyone had plenty of time to prepare. It was Queensland's most significant set of storms in years. Four supercells, intense rain and wind, and four the size of softballs. But the Weather Bureau chief says Queenslanders should have been ready. The services that the Bureau gave through, uh, through, throughout the week, with the help of the media, were of a high quality. Yet no warning could have prevented this. Mick Bennett's Ipswich home was one of at least three to be struck by lightning. It was like a cannon in the backyard. It just went off. Yeah. His eight-year-old son was in this bedroom. The boy was on the bed. He was crapping himself. Mogul mother Carla Lawrence didn't have a trampoline until yesterday. It came flying from the neighbour's yard, ripping off a section of roof on the way. It allowed crash and we have a trampoline in our backyard. Southwest Brisbane was one of the worst hit areas during last night's wild weather. The SES has been working around the clock. The weekend served as a major wake-up call that predictions of a severe storm season were never to be taken lightly. The Bureau didn't issue a specific warning until after Saturday's deluge hit Brisbane's inner suburbs. Too late, say some, but the Bureau says the system caught forecasters off guard. But there was no evidence on radar to anybody that this storm was severe until it got to the central parts of Brisbane. He says decisions are being reviewed but denies staffing is an issue. Some people just rely on old-fashioned methods. And I mean, I'll look at the sky and see that it's black, so I know... There's a storm coming. Renee Henry, 10 News.